Say hello. Hello. I was just about to start filming and she decided to wake up. Say hello. <laughs> now this is what happens when you film with a baby. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am Adibanjo Faith Adeola and I film about faith a parenting and lifestyle all the way from Lagos Nigeria today I have here with me my nine month old Oluwan Tommy say hello hello I was just about to start filming and she decided to wake up so since the show must continue she had decided to join me or I have decided to invite her to join me hopefully she does not scatter things Okay, so today I'll be talking about something I observed over the weekend. I was at a family friend's house to spend the weekend and um, they have two children, a boy of about nine years old, of about nine years and a girl of, of about six years. Now I think they are in grade the six-year-old is in grade two and the nine-year-old have forgotten but there's something i observed like they were writing exams at the point or at that time when um we went to visit and i guess they were to go to school the next day which was friday so thursday night i kind of helped to do revision and all of that and i was asking these children questions i noticed that they actually crammed what was in their notebooks okay i felt fine maybe they were just trying to you know um since their minds are still very sharp and all of that so they kind of know what is in their notebook word for word but the boy the nine months old the nine years old rather actually made it clear to me that if they don't put down what the teacher has given them in their notebook if they write it in another way then the teacher is going to fail them and i was like what does this really happen i mean i only thought it was university students that experience this like you have to cross or maybe some secondary school yeah but for a prom primary school basic two and I'm, I'm guessing the boy will be in basic seven or basic six. I, I really don't know. I didn't ask the, the class he was. But for a primary school student, pupil, to actually say they have to cram. I mean, why do we have to go through this? Mm. Ah, now wow. They said children are the leaders of tomorrow. But it's from small that I mean we, we we train these children from very little and actually it raised a concern in my heart. Why do we have to to make children cram? I feel like we should find ways of making them understand everything we teach them. Make it as simple as things that they can access, as simple as things that they can see. So that when you ask them a question, they will not have to start to wrap their brain on how exactly it is written down. And now I asked this boy, okay, tell me, after this exam, will you remember everything you've read? And he was like, ah, okay, okay, okay. I said, okay, last term's exam, do you remember every single thing you read? Like everything you crammed and ah, no, 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 no. And that's it. So the idea is just memorize everything in your book when you get to the exam pour it then after exams hey we can play and everything we've read can go out the window because it is just to pass but that beats the, the the reason why we actually went to school that beats the reason why we are even going through education in the first place is it not to gain experience to gain sorry life's knowledge i mean to gain knowledge and to be able to apply those knowledge by the time we grow but if this knowledge we're actually gaining is being trashed right after the exam 
then that means we will end up with excellent results, excellent certificates, and no um, skill. No skill. And is that not what we are even seeing in our world today? I mean, you see a lot of first class graduates. I mean, I respect first, gra first class graduates, especially those who are actually first class upstairs. But at the same time, it's, it's really pathetic. It's really pathetic. It's made me go back to my university days and how we were made to cram a lot of things. And at the end of the day, it's, it became useless to us. We just learned a lot of practical, swallowed a lot of theories. And uh, so I would just like to put it out there to anyone who cares to listen. If you're a teacher, you're a parent, whatever um, position you're in, provided you have access to little children, please try as much as possible to help them not to cram when they are trying to write exams. I know life stress is, I mean, the stress of, of our everyday activity is so much and let's try to calm down and let's try to calm down and help these children considering their future. I remember experience, we have this very good family friend. Now, the son who is, okay, as at the time we experienced this, he was 10, roughly, 9, 10. Just there about the same year, age. And when he went to school, if he goes to school, he comes back with this bulk of assignments mm -hmm. that, hey, you'll be like, can this boy even finish all the assignments? So what his mom does is that she helps she browses on her phone tries to get the answers for him and then he writes it down then the ones then some of it and this is where i'm going to okay there's this particular instance let me be very precise where um they were asked to model something i mean the boy couldn't do in that kind of project or i i wouldn't know if he can because i have not really seen him do such a thing before and i believe that we can do all things through christ that strengthen us when we put our minds to do it my husband was actually called upon to help out to do for him to i mean to help him out to do this assignment to to model this thing using cartons and all of that and what he um modeled was a money counting machine there are also instances where she, she, he has to draw some things and all of that so this is my concern this boy's assignment has to be given to adults to do for him and so as to meet up with the deadline maybe the next morning he has to submit the assignment and if he doesn't submit it he'll be flogged or he'll be punished or he will lose his cause now number one which is the most important the boy does not gain the experience of doing that activity by himself why because it is being given to an adult and why is it being given to an adult? Because there is no time for him to actually sit down and do it by himself. Because he has a lot of other assignments to cover up before the next morning. That is very ridiculous. So the 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 point of giving him the assignment is even defeated. Should be assignment is so that we will uh, master whatever work we've done in the class. But if it's someone else that is doing your assignment, and you know, I'm comparing it with the university scenario because that is all we do in the university. We do copy and paste. Any in the morning, sharp, sharp, we tear a sheet of paper. Please, have you done your assignment? Let me dub. And you've dubbed and you've submitted, and you're happy to get your school. But is it meant to be so? It's not. I don't think so. And it pains me because it has, I'm seeing that this thing is, has started from primary school. Now, these two examples are painted at children in primary school. So, I, I, I feel like there's something we should do about it. Let's review this thing. Eh? Children are the leaders of tomorrow. But the leaders of tomorrow are being trained like they are, you know. So, I, I would like to employ us to really look into this matter. Whoever it is that is in your jurisdiction, whoever it is that is in your king. And even if it's just one day you are spending with a child or it is your own child help that child thinking about the person's the child's future thinking about what if this child is not, i am not here or there's no adult to assist 
this girl or this boy and he's he or she is faced with this same situation maybe in a real life situation this time around will he or she be able to cope or handle it and this is this should, i think this should be our approach to teaching children Whew. i just said i should let this out here if you think there are solutions to this or if, it, if you have any scenario that is similar to this or you're concerned about a um, similar situation or if you have any scenario similar to the scenarios I've been able to paint this um, in this video, please, I would like to hear it out in the comment section below. Do not just um, watch this video and pass. Please drop a comment so that from your comments, many other people would read and will learn from it. If you're here to also subscribe, please do well to press the subscribe button. Thanks for those who have already subscribed. <laughs> oh yeah, come and tell people to subscribe <laughs> and like. Like this video, share it with as many as you can. And see you next time. Bye.